Now, you're a really successful artist, so with the, w when the creating process of this album started, you could choose any producer in the world. Right. And one thing that I really like is that you trust in new generation of Jamaican For producers. Sure. Uh, how was the experience? That. Well, you know what I mean? Um, as, I, as, as I tried to do on the last album, The Trinity, I tried to bring what was happening in Jamaica. I mean, with Dr. Rock, I had success. I had six million ap albums sold, and um, basically people knew who I was. You know what I'm saying? And so when people kept saying to me, what are you going to do next? Like, who are you going to work with next? I, was, I, was, I think I was being considered a lot as a collaboration artist. And not that I didn't like that. I knew it got me popularity, but I wanted to prove to people that um, I really had a talent that stood out there. And also the people who backed me up, which is the music. Now, I make music too. I'm a, I, I've started producing recently. But these kids are just the talent to me, amazing talent. Um, you know, 19 years old, Stephen wow. McGregor. He's like the Doogie Hauser of producers. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, and this little kid, and they call him the genius because of this. He, he has got all his subjects, like A's in school, and also excel at music, plays like five or six different instruments. You know what I mean? So, um, w w w I met this kid when he was like eight years old, and his father is a big Jamaican entertainer, singer, a balladeer, and I'm like, and he, I'm at the studio, and I'm like, he, Freddie is like, Freddie McGregor, he's like, yo, this is my son, Steven. And he, he's, he's, a, he's an artist and he produced, sing your song, sing your song. He has a song about ABC. <laughs> I'm like, ABC, all right, let me hear it. And he looked up at us and he was like embarrassed and he skated off. <laughs> <laughs> and then like eight years later, I'm hearing his name on the radio all the time. I'm like, this can't be the same Steve McGregor. They're like, yeah, Big Ship. And Big Ship is the name of the studio, so I'm like, it must be. So I went over there and just watched the kid record people and um, the energy of the rhythms alone just drew me there so you know why I went of course it was great work but then to see him work was another thing um, seem mature you know what I mean and so so it was a great vibe to work with him I work with left side also I work with Don Carleone I work with Jig Zagler superstar my brother um, Kappa Shot Sound System I work with Arif Cooper big up Delana Thomas on the Renaissance Sound, Renaissance Sound System and Jeremy Harden these are all the people who I consider to be um, some of the the best producers in Jamaica right now to take us to the future of reggae music. There are others right there, that, there are others in Jamaica that are doing their thing, but um, these guys I work with well also, and so I chose them, Don Carleone. And, and I get that for you uh, personally, after all the tours, uh, the fame, the money, go back to your roots and go to Kingston and start doing things, it's it's great right for sure I live there you know what I mean so every day as I said when I get up I go run I run in the hills I'm running past my own people and they're like yo what up BP you know, or they, they, they they're, they're walking on the same on the same path too and so it's like um, that alone makes me feel like just that just that I can get up and run in my, and partake in just that little part of life in Jamaica made me feel ever stronger that I, I am a Jamaican and I mean nobody I, yeah I'm an international star and whatnot but people tend to think that you're gonna you're gonna move away from that part of your roots um, because it's too small it's a small island whatever but it, it, it's something that I want to add to so I think I can make maybe maybe I might be a, a big sea creature in a small <laughs> pond but for tell the real truth um, if I could make a difference there just by being there um, it means something to me and by being there and recording with, with these young with the young future Jamaica um, I think that it, uh, it, it's, it's helping to, to um, you know what I mean, to, to, yeah. to, to help with the history, at least. Now, I, I know that you went to Cancun uh, really soon. Uh, like, Well, you, you were there like a couple of... Couple, uh, like a month and a half. Like a month, month and a half ago. Yeah. Do you have plans to, to go to, to Latin America uh, before the end of 2009, like, like to Mexico, to another country? For sure. I usually, I usually, when the albums come out, I'm doing a promo tour right now. So the promo tour... It's like interviews like this on the radio, a lot of press, um, and letting people know when the album's gonna drop. One or two shows I'm doing, so it's mainly shows that were booked a long time ago, and, and, and that's promotional shows, um, and that's until about August. The album drops August 18th, and then after that time, about September, I'll be putting together a tour, so people could check out my website called okay. allshampaul.com which is going to have, right now it has blogs on reggae and dancehall and on what I'm doing right now, uh, picture, behind the scenes pictures of all these different interviews and stuff that I'm doing, the promo tour. And then uh, you could check that out. Uh, about November, I'm going to put the tour together. I, I, I hope to be coming to 
Um, anywhere in Latin America is like my second home for real. Cool. Now the last question, and I really always wanted to ask you this. Uh, you're from Jamaica, and in yeah. Jamaica, uh, ganja is really important in culture. What yeah. is the most important thing that you learn from it? For me, um, ganja is something that that uh, I didn't, you know, my father smoked one as a kid, always around me, but I viewed it as something that, you know, for elder people, that's for driving, driving is for older people, S smoking, drinking beer, these kinds of things. And so I didn't, I didn't really smoke. I liked the smell of it, um, and, and I didn't know what it was about. You know what I mean? So I, I grew up and I, I started to drink socially before I started to smoke. So I'm drinking every time I go out to a party. Every, every one now and then in the weekends I drink a couple of beers, and so I'm liking that feeling. And you know, um, as I grow older, like I'm 17 now, and I'm, I'm wilding out on beers and drinking alcohol, you know, and. Um, it would really make you, um, basically, you know what why now is as a college student, you're having a good time, you're drinking a couple of beers, you're having some vodka. It's great, but then um, I started to kind of take one or two hits, and I, just the feeling I got off of, off of smoking was just so much more calm and so much more relaxed and reserved, and uh, a lot of people say that, you know, it gives you a one-track mind, and what I was finding at the time was that the one track that it was giving me was, was showing me a path to my future. It was like, it was like, um, you know what I mean, what's important to you, Sean? And so that's what I got from it. I got, I got a, a little bit of meditation where I could just relax and be like, um, what's my next step? Instead of thinking, yo, what's my next step? Who's going to find me next? You know, who's on my tip? Um, basically, get involved with my own self. And it, it, it helped me to just kind of like simmer down. Cool. Well, Sean Paul, thank you very much all the respect for you for and sure. congratulations because Imperial Place is a great great album. Sir, gracias. Yeah, ya lo vieron hermanos, vamos a continuar con más. Eh, pues aquí desde Miami, él es Sean Paul. Eh, no le cambien hermanos, estamos aquí en Telehit.